when saving, do be careful not to override a sibling's data. Business in the delusion scape? Please be well prepared. Well, we're here. The delusion seems to be quite thoroughly cleared now. But nothing seems particularly different than it was after we defeated Cannon. So you're sure that there was a Cannon here? Yeah. I took him down myself. Don't get cocky. I'm the one who struck the final blow, remember? <laughs> no, you weren't. It was me. Boys, boys. Since when are you two such close friends? We're totally not. Not even a little. Is this what it's always like for you and your friends, Asahi? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it seems like a fun group. Don't forget that you're part of it now. I guess I am. Anyway, come on. Let's find ourselves a clue to Cannon's whereabouts. When saving, do be careful not to overwrite a sibling's data. Are you planning to return then? This is the door from which we came. My! Two adversaries! I'll blow you I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? If you're to go through this door, please be certain. This store simply has too varied a stock. I can't decide what to buy. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Hmm. Yep, there's nothing here. Yeah. It's the same way it was when I struck that final blow. Dude, that was totally me! Quiet, halfling. So, let's take a look at the concrete facts. Yamato and Reiji defeated Cannon here once before, correct? No, just me. After which point, the spread of the delusion ceased. Wouldn't that make Cannon this delusion's grand phantasm, then? Come to think of it, that is a little weird. Wasn't this the pink-caped man's delusion? So not only did he live here, but he was also this delusion's deluser and its grand phantasm? That doesn't make any sense! As crazy as it sounds, you can't argue that the spread of the delusion hasn't been stopped. Meaning, he was the boss. But what can we learn from that? I might know something about canon that you don't. Oh, something you found out? Something I may have inferred, at least. Hear me out. I've come to the conclusion that Canon may be a being who exists only in delusion. Someone dreamed up the character we know as delusion contractor Canon, and that delusion began to spread. And because he's a delusion with the power to control delusions, he's able to create multiples of himself. So this isn't Canon's delusion, but rather a delusion spawned by whoever created Canon in the first place. It seems a natural conclusion, all things considered, doesn't it? Snowballing off of that, what if he's a group delusion? Like, Cannon's so strong because multiple people dreamed him up. It's not impossible. 
but numerous people having the same delusion at the exact same time is pretty hard to swallow. It certainly would be unique. But I don't think you're totally off the mark there, though. Huh? Think about it. Cannon and the DAB seem to have some kind of connection, don't they? That's a fine theory, but you've got no proof. Though it does seem obvious they're trying to use him somehow. Maybe before dealing with him, they intend to gain his delusory power for themselves. Which would mean... We need to be at the next Delusionscape yesterday. Let's go! Which one do we go to next? Whichever's closest. But they're both roughly equidistant. Then how about we go to the one on Junk Street first? The one we took down? Sounds like a decision to me. Come on! of it before moving on. Business in the delusionscape? Please be well prepared. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Business in the delusionscape? Please be well prepared. of it before moving on. Business in the delusionscape? Please be well prepared. Delusionscape, please be well prepared. A clothes shop, perhaps the mistress would care to try something on. 